Welcome. This training video is an overview of the Quantity Worksheet window available in eTakeoff Premier. The Quantity Worksheet window is used to organize measurements and annotations. It also lets you perform calculations and easily transfer quantity results to other applications. Navigate to the View tab and use the Quantity Worksheet button to show or hide the Quantity Worksheet. If you use the Quantity Worksheet a lot, you can put the button on your Quick Access Toolbar by right-clicking and selecting Add to Quick Access Toolbar. The heart of the Worksheet window is the Worksheet Tree and Grid Control. The tree part of the control allows you to define a hierarchy of project information called items. The structure of the hierarchy is up to you. The CSI Master Format is often used. You can also use plain text items to describe your work like concrete, paint, or walls. Any and all trades can use the Quantity Worksheet. The tree structure lets you open and close items in the tree, showing more or less detail. When you open an item, its child or member items become visible. You can create multiple sub-levels of items to simulate assemblies. For example, you could create a wall assembly that would keep track of all the necessary parts like drywall, insulation, studs, track, etc. You can assign measurements and annotation to the items in the tree. This can be done by simply dragging them from the drawing and dropping them on the appropriate item, or you can have them assigned automatically. Assigning measurements to items allow you to accumulate measurement quantities and even use them in calculations. The item quantities can then be dragged and dropped to other applications such as Excel. The grid part of the control allows you to display or hide different columns of information. At the top of the grid are the column headings. The columns are highly configurable. You can change the width of a column by dragging the line at the end of the column heading. You can delete a column by right-clicking on the column heading and selecting Delete from the context menu. You can insert a column by right-clicking on the column heading, selecting Insert Column from the context menu, and selecting the desired column from the list. You can add columns to the end of the grid by right-clicking the square area above the vertical scroll bar. Select Add Column from the context menu, then select the desired column from the list. You can save and reload column configurations. You will probably want to configure the columns differently for different purposes. For example, you might have one configuration for reviewing information during takeoff and another for transferring information to other applications. When you right-click on the column heading, any column, you will see the menu option Save Column Configuration. Select it and the Column Configuration naming window will appear. You can enter a name for the current configuration. If you wish to replace an existing configuration, you can press the down arrow button and select from the list. Once you have entered a name, press the OK button and the configuration will be saved. To reload a saved configuration, right-click in the column heading and select Load Column Configuration from the menu. A sub-menu will appear listing the saved column configurations. Select a configuration and the columns will be set to match the configuration. To delete a column configuration you no longer want, right-click in the column heading and select Delete Column Configuration from the menu. A sub-menu will appear listing the saved column configurations. Select a configuration and it will be deleted from the saved configurations. Above the grid, at the top of the Quantity Worksheet window, are the Command buttons. The Add Item button is used to add a sub-item to the item that currently has focus. The Item Properties window will appear. Fill in the Item Properties and press OK. The sub-item will be added. Watch our second Quantity Worksheet window video for details on the Item Properties window. This can also be done by selecting Add a New Item from the right-click context menu or by pushing the Insert key on the keyboard. The Clone Item button is used to copy a current item. Put the focus on the item you want to copy and press the button. The Item Properties window will appear showing a copy of the focus item's properties. When cloning an item, you'll see a checkbox labeled Clone Member Items. If you check this box, the new item will have a copy of all the original item's member items. Measurement and annotation assignments are not copied. Modify the item properties as desired and press OK. 
This can also be done by selecting Clone Item from the right-click context menu. The Delete Item button is used to delete an item and all of its sub-items. This can also be done by selecting Delete Item from the right context menu. The Item Properties button is used to review or change the properties of an item. The Item Properties window will appear, modify the item's property as desired, and press OK. This can also be done by selecting Display Edit Item Properties from the right-click context menu. Increase Decimal Places. This button is used to increase the number of decimal places in the Quantity column. Decrease Decimal Places. This button is used to decrease the number of decimal places in the Quantity column. Show Hide Comma Separator. Press this button to show or hide the comma separator for numeric values. Print. Press the Print button to print the Quantity Worksheet. The Quantity Worksheet Print window will be displayed, allowing you to select various options before printing. Copy Drag. This control has three settings that determine what happens when you drag and drop quantities to another application. First, Copy Drag Values. When this option is selected, quantity values will be transferred. Second, Copy Drag Item Links. When this option is selected, Excel formulas will be transferred to link item quantities. You should only use this when you have installed the eTakeoff Excel add-on and are transferring information to an Excel spreadsheet. Third, Copy Drag Bid Code Links. When this option is selected, Excel formulas will be transferred to link bid code totals. You should only use this when you have installed the eTakeoff Excel add-on and are transferring information to an Excel spreadsheet. See our video entitled Bid Codes to learn more about how they work. When audit mode is checked, the behavior of the quantity worksheet and the main window changes to facilitate auditing. As the focus is moved from item to item in the quantity worksheet, the only measurements and annotations displayed in the main window are those assigned to the item or one of its sub-items, and any numeric input fields that are blank are displayed with a highlighted background. Hide Unused. When this box is checked, unused items in the tree are hidden. An item is considered unused when it meets the following conditions. It has no measurements or annotations assigned to it. If it uses a formula, the result of that formula is zero. And any sub-items are also unused. The Float Window button allows you to drag quantity worksheet information to other applications. This is done by floating the quantity worksheet window above the other application. Press this button to start or stop floating the quantity worksheet window. Recalculate Project button. Under normal circumstances, the quantity worksheet is automatically recalculated and measurements are added, changed, or deleted. But if your system should fail during one of these processes, the recalculation may not finish. Press this button to recalculate the entire worksheet. Thank you. That is the end of this training video.